Hey y'all, welcome to my Hermes collection. So, welcome, welcome. I thought I'd put something up here for you guys to check out. So, I, this collection isn't as big as my Chanel and LV collection, but this year I seem to have gravitated more towards Hermes. So, especially with like all of the Chanel price increases and LV price increases, you know, I just kind of been gravitating this way and I don't know why, but to start, I started out with the tableware. I think this is what attracted me to Hermes before the Birkins and Kellys. I like the tableware, um, but this here is a sushi plate. And this, I don't know the names of this stuff, guys, so please, oh my goodness, please don't be mad at me. But it's in this gray color. It's in the Mosaic collection, I believe. Um, they still have the gray Mosaic, up, but I don't see the gold anymore. So I don't know if there is discontinued or what on their Hermes website, but I like to use this tray as a catch-all for my jewelry. Um, and I like to take photos with this stuff. It's just so visually appealing in photos with this little plate. Um, but I actually do use this stuff for what it is. I My favorite food in the universe is sushi. I definitely use this for food too. <laughs> yes, I wash it, yes. Yes, I wash it, but I don't eat sushi a lot at home. But when I do, sometimes I feel bougie and I wanna hold my pinky finger up and I'll use this. So don't judge me. Um, I also have the gold mosaic. So this is the one that I think is discontinued. I'm not sure. I never see it on the website anymore. Like they don't even have like a section for it like they used to. Um, but this is it. I love this color. I love this. I don't know what this is, but I just love that inner woven pattern. There's something about it in this color that attracts me. It reminds me of like that old world floors and those really like old buildings that you go into. Like the like in your downtown areas, usually they'll have this pattern on the floor or the ceiling or something. And I've always liked that. And this is just a coffee mug. Um, I also have this here, this little, I think this is a butter plate if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's in the gold mosaic. I'm gonna tell you guys, I, I love anything like with that Roman-esque look. I don't know what this is, but it it just has a Romanesque. Maybe the mosaic is just attracts me and I love it. I really do. And it tells you here, that's the name of the collection. I hope you can see it. Um, so if you Google it, I think you should Google that name, Mosaic 24 or something like that. That's the name of that collection. And then also, I think I have like this dessert plate. I have this dessert plate and it has like the signature Hermes little logo there. Is that upside down or I don't know. Should I do it this way, guys? I don't know. Somebody in the comment section, I'm sure it helped me. But um, I love this pattern, but it's a dessert plate. I definitely don't use this like really. I mean, I've used it for food, but typically I use this for photos. It just looks so beautiful to have like all your jewelry on this type of platter. It just, something about it I just really love. So that is my tableware. So I pretty much had this before anything else. And then this is just the Hermes like pouch. Um, the Bane pouches. I know a lot of people, they use it for the beach or I don't know, but I use this in my tote as like a catch-all for my receipts. So for the person who always asks me, where's those papers? Cause we know you're the paper champ. Let me tell you, this is where it's at. All my papers. <laughs> this is the papers. This is where all the papers are. I use, a, this is my catch-all now. And my totes or my bigger bags or, you know, sometimes I just slide it out, lay it on my, my desk. If I need a receipt, I just go back in here and use that. 
Who is that at the bottom? That feels weird. Oh, coupons. <laughs> I keep my coupons in there too. These are like really old, but just like some Express and Bath and Body Works coupons I keep in there too. And I love the color orange. That's, I love the color orange. My favorite color is in the universe is cream or tan, but orange, I just, is something about orange. My very first Hermes piece ever is this belt here. This is, I probably got this in maybe 2013 or 14. I don't know the length. This may be like the 34 or I don't know the numbers anymore, but it is reversible. So it has like a black smooth leather on this side and like a pebble tan or gold leather on this side. Um, I love this. Actually, it has some scratches on there, like I wore it to death, but I love this belt. You know, it's kind of flashy, but you know, look, you know, I'm a flashy type of gown. I don't know what that is on there, that print. Maybe it just says Hermes. I don't, my glasses won't let me be great, but this is this. I love that it's reversible and you can, um, I think now before you had to buy the whole set. Now I think you can just buy a separate buckle. But back then when I bought these, these are maybe like $600 for the belts. Now they may be like a little over $800, I'm not sure. But now you can buy it separately. Before they didn't care. They were like, either you can buy the leather by itself or buy a whole new belt if you needed this. And I thought that was like so messed up I'm like dang well i just want to interchange the buckle i just need a buckle but now they're doing it um and then i just recently picked this piece up and i showed this on my instagram this is part of the petite h collection it's just a little bitty pouch that they make the whole petite h collection i believe is for like their recycle or scrap material that they try to remake into unique pieces so they don't have to i guess throw them away so they make unique pieces and sell them and when you put it in your cart what's crazy is you really don't know what you're going to get they'll give you a bunch of choices and say hey we made a bunch of these that look like this but we surprise you and give you you know we just send you whatever we have but I was lucky to get the one I was eyeing. So this tickles me because it looks like one of those bonnets. <laughs> it looks like a bonnet, but it is reversible. So on this side, it's like a blue and pinkish tone. And you see the little label there, but it's just a pouch. Um, trying to spread it out a little bit. And on this side is pink. This is my favorite side. I'm really into mythology and all things mystical and dragons and lions and Orion. And so anything that looks like it's mythical or has a phoenix or anything of that Sumerian <laughs> life, I love that. And I think that's what kind of attracts me to um, Christian Dior and Hermes because they kind of have that some of those undertones in their patterns. So this is right up my alley. Um... Again, you probably can use this as a pouch going out if you want. Um, I bought this specifically to sit on my vanity for a different purpose. Um, but you can kind of, I guess, maybe tie it in a little knot here maybe so it don't like come too far apart and keep an opening. And I mean, if you just wanted to use it, you know, if you tie the knot here down a little further you probably could use this as like a little pouch for a night out but it's not secure enough for me i would want the drawstring on both sides to be able to do that but me i'm using it for other reasons that's not conventional so <laughs> um got yeah, caught up in my bracelet there but yeah so i really like this it's unique and if you go on Petite H on their website, they have so many unique items if you want like a one-of-a-kind situation going on. 
The next I'll go here with this, oh, what do you call this? The Ulysses or Ulysses notebook holder. And this was gifted to me. And I think it's in the color of, I remember it was called Rogue Garnet or something like that. It's a nice burgundy-ish red. It's like the perfect red to me, honestly. But um, yeah, I wrote in it. Um, for a video I did. I think it must have been Sukit for, for me. Um, but this is how it snaps on. So you just like snap the refills on in there. You can buy them on the website. This was gifted to me. Um, and I keep this in my bags when I need to take notes. And let me tell you, this is the third refill I've had of this. <laughs> so I blow through notes especially with my work. I definitely need to write everything down because now that I'm super old, I forget everything and this is so helpful. Um, so now let's get into my handbag. So I recently, like this year, made a lot of bag purchases with Hermes. So this is the Pickleton and the E-Tube. Um, this is my favorite Hermes bag, I think. I when this when I first laid eyes on this, I knew I wanted this in my life. But it was so high back then. It was like three thousand dollars, and that back then it was kind of like higher on the totem pole for my budget. So I never bit the bullet. But now that I see these um, design houses raising prices every quarter, it seems like I just bit the bullet and bought it. Um, this is in the eighteen with the gold hardware. This is the newer model because you know it has like the lock before it didn't have a lock. I have no idea what I did with the keys. That sucks. <laughs> but this is the inside of it. If you can see. And I think this is in like a Clements leather. It has feet on the bottom. Looks like it's still plastic. I had no idea that have plastic on it so I need to take that off if you don't take the plastic off it'll take the plating off so it's good to take that stuff off but I love this bag it's let me tell you Hermes is like one of those low-key discreet brands it kind of look old-fashioned to me but I love it for the corporate world so if you work in the corporate life you definitely kind of like want something more discreet um can you see that? I hope you can see it. I'm talking to you guys like you can really <laughs> respond back. But the 18 is perfect because this fits so much, you guys. You have no idea. It fits like everything you need more than that. It fits it. And I love this bag. I just, it was on my wish list years ago. So my next item here is the... M.M. Um, Ulysses notebook folder. Um, I have everything in here. This I use for work specifically. Um, so it looks just like the P.M. But this is the M.M. Um, I have some shipping papers in here. Uh-oh. Maybe if I take that over there. But that's that. And this, I'm still on the first... Um, this is the lined paper and that's how it like snaps in and you have to buy these refills there. They're not cheap, baby. Ooh. But I wanted the GM and the SA shipped me the wrong one thinking this was GM. And then by the time he tried to find the GM, they were all sold out and these are discontinued, he said. So they are coming out with a different one. I saw somebody in Germany I think his name is The Life of Niels, and he had the newer version, which is the better version in my opinion, because you can slot any type of notebook inside instead of buying this type of paper, because it's not cheap, and these snap, so it's hard to find just any type of paper to put in there, but the new one has like a, a slot cover where you can just slot it, like the Louis Vuitton one, but I still love this for work. It's discreet and low-key like you wouldn't know what it is unless you're just into the brand but um it's in black silver hardware this is in the togo leather 
just like this one is in the um togo leather also so this is the mm and this is the tpm not the pm this is the tpm like the smallest one so these i, I love these and they smell good and they're oh they feel wonderful so my next Hermes product here is the Garden Party 30. And I absolutely, when I first laid eyes on this, I knew I would get this bag. Um, but it was on the expensive side back then when I first saw it. Again, I saw the price increases. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet. This is probably my most expensive bag. I think I spent almost four grand for this bag. <laughs> Had to cough that price up. <coughs> Ooh, uh, <laughs> but it buttons there. So if you need to make it wider, you can. I just like the aesthetic of it being buttoned. But this is the inside of it. I've worn it a few times. But right now, this is my least worn bag. Because I bought it right at the beginning of the pandemic in March 19. So by that time, you didn't want your new bag to have COVID on it. <laughs> so I didn't wear it, but it has a beautiful like herringbone pattern linen lining in there. And you have a zip pocket that's in there and the bottom is leather. Um, I love this bag. I love this bag. The 30 in this is like the perfect size. I wanted a 36 because I'm a, a big bad girl, but this is like a Goldilocks size. Um, so I'm glad I got the 30. And it does not have feet on the bottom. I don't know what type of leather this is. This is the different leather. This isn't Togo and this is not Clemence. I don't know what this is, but it's sturdier. It's like, it's just better. Like this can get wet. Like, I can probably brush that off, but this definitely is not Togo or Clemence. It feels different. I don't know what it is, but I can almost guarantee. I don't know. It may be, but just on the feel, I can tell you that it's not that. But corporate world, like, I'll, I'm going to tell you guys, I bought this because I wanted to interview with this purse. Because I back then, I had a bunch of flashy purses with monogram all over it. I said, I just wanted a nice, basic bag you know that like made a statement but not really and where i can like put my resume in there <laughs> you know and like walk in and everybody don't like quite know what it is and i finally got my hands on it and i don't regret it and i think it only comes in the silver hardware i've never seen it in gold so this one is currently in use um this is the evelyn tpm and the black I think this is in Togo, silver hardware, detachable strap. This is the front side because I'm assuming the button is there. You can like see through those perforated holes there. It's in use, so all my stuff is in there. I just came home and used this, so. Um, this is by far the best bag Hermes probably have. That's like a, I don't know, like this is just the best every day. It's cross bodies. Everybody wears it so you can see the H. Hope you can see it. I want this in multiple colors. Like this is how much I love this bag. I love this bag. And then I just recently purchased... I don't know what this is called. The <laughs> I literally just bought this and I don't know what the name is, but it's a little wallet. Um, it's like that bifold type of style. It has four card slots, two slip pockets. It's in black. It's very hard wearing. Whatever that material or leather is, it's very hard wearing. It's very tough. And it has a silver Hermes print there. This is a men's wallet, I believe. And I kind of bought it, like, just in case my son, I pass it down to him or whatever. Um, but I just slot that in there. Great wallet. 
And that is basically, I think, all of my, um, nope, I have one more thing to show you guys, this Hermes. I have the orange sandals. I know I didn't show my Chanel slides that well, my hand was in the way. You guys, I'm sorry, I don't know how to edit videos, so I do my best, so please don't bark at me if my videos aren't perfect, but these, I saw these and immediately jumped on them. Um, I bought this a half a size up. I wear a seven. I got it in the 37 and a half because I have wider feet. I just love the print on these. I love the print on these. I just, I don't know. It's just with that. It reminds me of like that Ralph Lauren polo, like that equestrian. I just love that equestrian look, but these feel great. They don't hurt. And of course they go with my bags. You know, when I'm feeling saucy, it just goes with my bags perfectly. And I just want to do like an honorable mention of the things that I forgot to bring up in my last videos. I just found them and forgot about them, but I forgot in my Louis Vuitton video to add my key pouch and the I'm front and the black leather. This one I had replaced gonna sit that there and because I think in the year like 2014 ish around that year they had an issue with glazing so if you had a glazing issue with these items they would replace it for you they wouldn't reglaze it they would just replace it so I took mine back to actually like get it fixed and that's when they told me like no we don't reglaze it we'll just give you a new one right on the spot they just like took my old one and gave me this one and i was like woohoo thanks but this is probably the best key pouch wallet situation that louis vuitton has like let me tell you this thing holds everything like it's just so roomy in there it's in gold and then that back zip pocket is just perfect like you keep your main cards that you use the most there the ones that you don't and the cash there and you just like clip your keys on there and that's all you need. Like at work, like I just grab that on my bag with my little key and my ID thing on it and I'm out. Um, so I just wanted to put this or put it in my video so I remember that that was part of my collection of 2021. So this is like a bonus at the end of the video. Um, I also forgot too that in my Chanel collection video that I had the espadrilles in black lambskin leather. These things, let me tell you, if you buy these, don't let these get wet. Because they will feel like bricks on your feet, okay? Mine got wet in the rain, like a rainstorm came out of nowhere. And it took a while for it to like dry out. But uh, these got, I got my money's worth. <laughs> but I went a whole size up with these. I wear a seven, I got these in an eight. And they still kind of like, what I don't like about it, it forms to my big toe up there. Like my big toe is just always <laughs> showing there, but you know, I still love these shoes. I would buy them again, like they're comfortable. I do have, when I first bought it, they were tight up here. So I like put that little patch, cushion patch there to ease how it was rubbing and then eventually they stretched and I don't need that. They're like super comfortable now. So these do stretch out. And then back to the other two things. This is my uh, pocket agenda by Louis Vuitton that this is like these last two years is the first time that I think I didn't buy refills for these, but that's that it has card slots there. And that's the refill. The thing in the back is so old. So it's brown. So that's how you know how old it is. Um, I don't know if I can show you the back because I have like personal information there. Yeah, I do. But it just slots behind there. But this I was just using for like doctor's appointments. And like I would log daily like things that I did for the day to keep track of what I did. Because I have memory problems. And then I have this desk agenda. So look. I bought this for work, but it was just so like flashy. So I was kind of like, didn't want to use it for work. So I tried to use it at home, like on the kitchen 
area for all of us to keep track of what we needed to do for the day and that was like a major fail so now i just use it as like my journal or diary and i think i like it like doing that that way this has a super old louis vuitton um paper in it with the gold gilding on it um you know that because it's brown so you have a slot there a slot there you even have a slot back there and more car slots here car slot this design is awesome this is a awesome design if you are going to get a planner i suggest this one um they do have these in Damier a bin so and even the graphite if i'm not mistaken so if you don't like the busyness of the monogram you know the more classic print is the checkerboard one so if you don't want to be this flashy you can get the other ones but I do like this in monogram though. I wouldn't get this in the Daimier anything. I would repeat this purchase in this. I love this as my journal. So I'm glad I got the other one um, for work. And they're like comparable. The Hermes MM is comparable to the ALV Desk Agenda. So... I just wanted to show you this as an honorable mention and so I could keep track of what was in my collection. And that's my entire Hermes collection with like a bonus section at the end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome 2022. I'm going to upload maybe one more collection video for Christian Dior. I'm starting to get into that brand a little bit. So I just kind of want to record what I had in 2021 for that too. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching.